And a Grover Beach Church typically holds Sunday service, but today the pastor preached about fighting plans to turn the building into a homeless center. KSBY News reporter Asia Gore was there at the service today, and she joins us live in Grover Beach with more on that message. Asia. Dustin and Melissa, many of the people here at the service today at Hillside Church are not regulars, though they were referring to the church by its original name, uh, Bethel Baptist. They say that they're outraged, they're residents that are just down the street from this church, outraged by the fact that the city is planning to turn it into a homeless center. We are gathering together and we're excited about what the Lord's going to do. Hillside Church Pastor Willie Heck shares a Mother's Day message online one week after the doors on his church were locked. And we were told this will be the last worship service we'll ever have in there, but God had a different opinion. John Fleming, a longtime member of the Hillside congregation, took on a different role Sunday, stepping in as pastor in Heck's place. But Jesus told us that when Grover Beach police stood watch as Fleming preached a message of endurance to a group of newcomers. The neighbors all wanted to support us. You know, I think they deserve to have a, a nice neighborhood, and I hope we can give that to them. Neighbors of Hillside Church, like Robert Downey, listen on as Fleming prays the church will not be turned into a homeless center as planned. Your sign says right idea, wrong location. We've been called NIMBYs and homeless haters and we're anything but that. Downey and other neighbors have safety concerns about turning this church into a homeless center with 20 permanent housing units and up to 44 beds for transitional housing. They just said, here it is, it's coming and you got to accept it. The city did hold a public meeting on the plans, which require rezoning this three-acre lot from low-density residential to mixed use. The concept plan provided to council notes perfect timing of state grant availability and the sale of Hillside Church. But Fleming says the will of God and this makeshift congregation will prevail. I honestly believe next Sunday we'll worship inside the, the sanctuary. Two other locations were considered for this homeless housing project, but Hillside Church was chosen by the Five Cities Homeless Coalition because it's properly situated close to a grocery store, the library, public transportation, and health care services. Live in Grover Beach, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Thanks, Asia. Construction on the project, which, it, which is being pushed by the Five Cities Homeless Alliance and People's Self-Help Housing, would begin in September of 2020 if the plan is approved by the city.